welcome back to my channel the baking diva and a big shout out to all my new subscribers you know how much i appreciate each and every one of you well today i decided to do something a little different i'm not going to make something sweet today i'm going to make something savory well maybe savory with a little sweetness in it uh, let me tell you how i ended up with this recipe uh, this past Christmas, we went to some friend's house who had a cocktail party and they had a beautiful spread of food and in one of the um, dishes they had these uh, delicious cocktail meatballs. So I thought, let me taste them. They look yummy. So I went to taste them and they were really good. So I went back for seconds. Well, you know the diva, do you think I could possibly leave there without asking for the recipe? So they said, don't worry, we'll send it to you. And they did. However, with uh, Mother's Day and we had Easter and now we've had Memorial Day, I was so busy with those things that I didn't get a chance to show you this recipe. And now I said, I am going to. Now this is a, a cocktail meatball recipe um, with real cranberry sauce. Now, I've had recipes for years that you put like grape jelly in, and I think ketchup or barbecue sauce. There's a, a big variety of these, but I've never had this recipe. So I wanted to share it with you. Now you do need a crock pot for this, and you can either use turkey meatballs or you can use your beef meatballs. Today, I decided I'm gonna make them um, with turkey. So the best part about this is, the good hack, um, you use frozen meatballs. That's right, you know the diva, always looking for an easy way out. So I'm anxious to show you how to make these. So are you ready? I am, so let's get started. Now I will put the recipe in the description box below for you, but right now I'm going to show you um, what we mix together. The first thing you're gonna need is an 18 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. Um, this happens to be one I got on sale. Whoopsie, so I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna pour that into this bowl. The entire 18 ounce bottle of barbecue sauce. So we have that in there. Next, you're going to need three tablespoons of soy sauce. So let me put that in. Okay. So we have our three tablespoons of soy sauce. Next, we're going to put in a 16 ounce can of jellied cranberry sauce. So let me get that in there. Make sure it's the jellied one. And now we're gonna put in two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. It's a new bottle. I'm trying to get it to squirt out here. All right, that's one. And one more. Come on, mustard, get in there. Here we go. All righty. So we put that in. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to stir this all together until we get a nice consistency. So you wanna get your barbecue sauce, your soy sauce, your jelly cranberry, and your Dijon mustard all mixed up until it's nice and smooth. You wanna crush up that jelly cranberry sauce and mix in that mustard and get it all nice and smooth. As you can see, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna keep mixing this 
until I get it just the way I want it. And then I'll be back in a second to show you what we do next. Okay, so this looks like it's all mixed up pretty good to me. Main thing is I want to get that jelly cranberry, you know, incorporated with everything else. Alrighty. Okay, so what you're going to need next is you're going to need 24 ounces of frozen meatballs. And you can use turkey or you can use beef, um, whichever you prefer. It doesn't make any difference, but this recipe I'm using the turkey meatballs. Okay, so the bags that I happen to have found were 16 ounces. So I'm going to put one full bag in and some from the other bag. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put these meatballs in your crock pot. Now, I happen to have an instant pot here that also works as a crock pot. So I'm just going to put it on the slow cooker uh, mode. So let me put these frozen turkey meatballs in here. And let me put, I'm going to put maybe half of the other bag. Some of the meatballs are smaller than this. Th these meatballs I'm using are a little larger. They're about this size, the turkey ones. So that looks good. Okay. All right. And then what you're going to do is after you put the frozen meatballs in your slow cooker, you're going to pour this mixture over them. You want to have all the meatballs covered. So I'm going to do that now. You stand up and spoon this over the meatballs. Oh, I can just pour it in. That'll work better. There we go. Mmm. Get it all in there. All right. Just gonna take my spoon to make sure all the meatballs are covered with that sauce. There we go. All righty. And that is all the ingredients you need. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cook these meatballs in your slow cooker on low for about four to six hours. There is to it. So I'm gonna put my slow cooker on and I'm gonna cook these babies and I'll be back after to show you what they look like and do a taste testing. Because what I have to say is, you've tried all the rest, now you're gonna try the best. So don't go away. Those of you that are very observant will have noticed but I am now cooking my meatballs in my Ninja slow cooker. I don't know if any of you have had the same problem as me, but I've always used my Instant Pot you know, as a pressure cooker. This is the first time I've used it as a slow cooker, and I have to say I give it a thumbs down. Um, I don't think it cooks nearly as uh, well as a regular slow cooker. I know it's advertised that it does both, but I just don't see it. So I put my meatballs back in my slow cooker and that's where I'm cooking them. Let me know in the comments column if any of you have had the same issue as me. I just don't think it works as well. I personally, in my own opinion, and it's just my opinion, think if the company is going to um, advertise this as a multi-purpose cooker, they need to do a little bit more work on the slow cooking end of it. I wish there was smell-o-vision and you could smell these. They are delicious smelling. They have a little ways to go, but I can't wait to eat one. Mm-mm-mm. Well, the meatballs are all done, and do they look delicious? It's time for taste testing. 
Alrighty, the meatballs are done and it's time for me to taste test them. So let me get my spoon out here, put a few of them in my dish. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They look so good. Let me put some of that, ugh, that delicious sauce on them. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think you should give these a try. I think they're gonna be a hit. These are turkey, but you can make them in beef if you want. So let me taste one. I haven't had any dinner yet. So these are gonna be my dinner. I was out for a while while these were cooking and we had torrential uh, downpours out there. Flash flood warnings. I'm just so over this rain. But anyway, maybe these meatballs will make me feel a little bit better. So let me see. Mmm, 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 is there a meatball dance? Mmm, good. They're tangy. It's hard to really describe the taste. They're not too spicy, but there's a tang to them. They're really good. So, I will put the recipe below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go on down below and hit that red subscribe button and a little bell next to it, and you'll get a notification when I have my next uh, video up. And if you'd like to make a comment, um, I love my comments, and thumbs up. Well, YouTube likes them. That's how they promote your video. So anyway, I'm gonna have my dinner here, and like I said earlier, you've tried the rest, now try the best. And I will see you all very soon. Toodles!